Over the last two decades, there have been a number of editorials in our journals stating that whenever a neuromuscular blocking agent is used, we should be using quantitative monitoring. Unfortunately, the reality is much different. I think the problem has primarily been with the first generation technology, basically very difficult to use as a large learning curve. As we've seen here, there are a number of exciting second generation quantitative monitors that are being developed. However, there's still more validation studies needed with most of these monitors. Unfortunately, the gold standard for measuring neuromuscular recovery is mechanomyography. And fortunately, these devices are no longer available. There's only a couple of them left in the world that are still functioning. So validation studies are somewhat difficult, but they, they are being performed. So we'll be seeing, we've seen some exciting new technological developments. There are other ones on the way. Soren Brühl is developing a portable EMG monitor that can be used with any type of uh, anesthetic system. That again is in validation studies right now. But I think we'll see in the coming 10 years, a number of new exciting quantitative monitors. I think one of the questions is, do we need quantitative monitors in the era of Sugamidex? Uh, I think probably not. With Sugamidex, you have to use at least a qualitative monitor. For dosing the drug, you need to at least be able to uh, obtain a train of four count or a post titanic count. But we probably won't need this type of monitoring once Sugamidex is used more frequently in the United States and throughout the world.